Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with some new products and I thought I'd go get ahead and get started. And um, from Heart Candy, I have the Glow Serum Primer. And actually, this has a really, smells sort of like candy, um, but a really pretty glowy tint to it. So this is what I have on for my primer, for my base today. It's very moisturizing and gives you a really pretty glow. And it's kind of scary when it first comes out of the tube because it has a lot of uh, pigment to it. Uh, but it smells like sweet tarts and it just gives you a pretty all over glow. And uh, that one you can get over at Walmart. I did go ahead and use the Catrice True Skin in 04 Neutral. And with this one, um, you can go ahead and grab this off of Amazon or the Catrice website. And uh, this one has really pretty finish, but it um, it's a thicker texture. So I'm finding that in the the summertime if i just use less of it it's actually um working pretty good for me again i really like the finish on it so it's really pretty there did go ahead and use the color pop pretty fresh as far as my concealer today and then as far as the new products well actually i won't uh, the bronzer I used was the MAC bronzer, and this one is in Light Rosy Radiant, and I've used that quite a few times here. So, um, yeah, that's an older product, but really liking it. And it's not that old. It's only about two months old, or actually three months old at this point. But um, as far as new products that I went ahead and picked up, uh, the Alice in Wonderland is coming out by Wet n Wild, and ColourPop did one, but this one is the Wet n Wild one. It's available over at Target, and you can order it off of Ulta or off of the Wet n Wild uh, website. And so these are a couple of other products I picked up from that collection. This is the Lip and Cheek, and I have it on both the Lip and Cheek, and it's a really pretty corally color. Um, I also have this on the lips, and this is one of their lip glosses. It's really fun. It smells, well, it actually tastes sort of like passion fruit. So this is what I have on the lips here. And again, really pretty coral. And it's also um, kind of what I have on, yeah, the uh, cheeks as well. I did go ahead and put a couple of different things up. Um, so I actually did go ahead and mix these two together. This is a hard candy face off and be real and um, this and so that's what I have on the cheeks and then I did go ahead and add in the elf halo glow and rose quartz as far as a highlighter. So I have all, uh, all three of these on the cheek right now. So that's what I have on there. And I'm really liking this formula. I think it works out really well. Uh, they have one other color in this, and I think it's a light purpley color. Um, they also have another color in the lip gloss as well. And I think it's a light pink, but that isn't what I ended up going with. And I like what I ended up going with, so it worked out well. And then, let's see, what else did I do here? Oh, another new product. Um, over a Target, I picked up the ColourPop, and this is their uh, Daydreaming palette, which is a uh, Paris palette, so daydreaming about Paris or in Paris. And, you know, you have the the pretty twinkly lights, and then you have the industrial um, Eiffel Tower, you know, metal kind of look. And so when I saw this, I knew that I wanted to go ahead and pick it up at once, and then when I got it home, I figured that there was another palette that would go really well with it. And I used to do a series where I would, you know, put up uh, ColourPop palettes that would go really well together. Well, this case, I didn't need to think at all about it. Truly Iconic goes really well with daydreaming. So tr Truly Iconic has a whole bunch of the same shades but lighter colors, like uh, this light blue here, which is a baby blue. And so, yeah, they. this one is definitely the nighttime palette, and this one is the daytime palette. And you can mix them together to get fun looks. So 
This one's available over at Target as well as on the ColourPop website. And this one, again, is over at Target and on uh, the ColourPop website. So as far as what I did is I did the outside of my eye with the lighter colors. So I used this baby blue and I took it from the bottom of the inner corner all the way up to the top. Then I used the pink over here and I used that right under the brow. And I think that's all I used from Truly Iconic. And then what I did from the Daydreaming, the Paris Daydreaming palette, is I went ahead and did uh, this one on the crease. And then I went ahead and did this on the brow bone and this on the lid. And this is actually a duochrome. It's one of their brown to blue ones. It's really pretty. And I did go ahead and put on the ColourPop eyeliner as well. And so this is how the eye look turned out. It's a real smoky purple, purple blue kind of look. And yeah, it's really fun. I like it a lot. You could also do, you know, if you just wanted to like go for the Paris, the twinkly lights, you could do something really fun by going ahead and using um, a couple of the lighter shades from up on the top. And then the Truly Iconic has some really pretty um, golden colors, a light golden and a dark golden, and adding some of the blue in there. That would be really pretty too, but that's for a different day. So uh, back to today. And um, I did go ahead and use my basics, the NYX Stick It Stick It and the Sky High by Maybelline. And I think I'm going to go ahead and see if maybe I'm going to add some of the volume stylist, the 18 hour wear here. See if maybe we can get more of a smoky. With not false lashes, but false lash effect by adding some of this in. Yeah, there we go. Getting the eyelashes to be a little bit thicker here. So there we go there. Lots of, yeah, lots of eyelashes now. So yeah, just a little bit, a little bit more there. And um, let's see, uh, to finish it off, I used the Glowish powder. This one's in fair light and it's really pretty. It lasts a long time. I hit pan actually a long time ago on this. And so it's a really good powder. It has a little bit more um, oomph to it than the hourglass powders do. And uh, it's not quite as sparkly as the hourglass, but it has a little bit more coverage. So I used it as a finishing powder today. And um, let's see, I think that's about all that I have to show you. I think it turned out kind of fun. And um, definitely we'll be going ahead and mixing these two palettes in the future. They go really well with each other. And um, really liking the Wet and Wild, the uh, different Alice in Wonderland. Um, they have a lot of fun products in this particular collection. So I'm really enjoying that as well. And I think that's about all. And um, thank you and have a great day. Bye.